guys, it's Arianita La Gringa, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys don't know anything about me, I am a native English teacher from the United States, teaching you guys English at different places. Can you guys guess where I'm at today, just by looking at the beautiful buildings around me? I am in downtown New York City, but specifically Manhattan. And in today's video, I am going to teach all of you downtown vocabulary. And New York City is the best city, the city that never sleeps to teach you guys downtown vocab. But before starting this video and teaching you guys some downtown vocab, what does the word downtown mean? Downtown is a part of a city or a town where there are a lot of tall buildings, stores, and offices or it's just the center of the city. Now let's learn some English vocab in New York. One of the main characteristics of a downtown area are the tall buildings, like the ones behind me. But what is a very tall building called, like the one right next to me? This very tall building located in the center of downtown New York is called One World Trade Center. This building is called a skyscraper. Skyscraper. And why is it called skyscraper? Well, it's called skyscraper because the building is scraping the sky. And this skyscraper has many levels or floors. This skyscraper is so tall that I couldn't even fit it in this video. This skyscraper is the tallest building in the entire United States of America at 1,776 feet. Now, what do you think is inside of a huge skyscraper? Are there apartments, hotels, offices, businesses? Actually, there's everything. Some skyscrapers have hotels, apartments, offices, businesses, and more things. Overall, a skyscraper can be used in a variety of ways and produce a lot of money with the businesses they have inside. Go ahead and tell me what is the tallest building or skyscraper in your city where you are from. When you exit a building like this one, the first thing you see is this right here. This is called a sidewalk and you walk on the sidewalk. Also, this sidewalk is huge because we are in New York City and there are over 8.8 .8 million people living in New York. Can you believe it? Its population is huge. This right here that I'm tapping my toe on is called the curb. This is the curb and it separates the sidewalk from the street. Another important part of a city are the streets. This is a street. And as I said before, New York City has a large population and a bunch of tourists. As you guys can see behind me, there are so many people walking around and tourists. These streets are where cars will drive on to get to places like going to work, traveling, or running errands. You may think that New York City is full of skyscrapers and tall buildings because its nickname is the Concrete Jungle. Well, that's all true, but they also have a plaza right behind me full of trees, grass, and green areas. A plaza is a public square where people can walk around and enjoy the city. And they can get a breath of fresh air from working all day, they can walk their dogs, and hang out with their family. This plaza is called the 9-11 Memorial. And as you can see behind me, it was constructed in memory of the victims from 9-11 and the events of that. But this memorial has a fountain inside of it. Normally, plazas can have fountains or they can have public figures like statues in the middle of the plaza. This is a squirrel. The squirrel is climbing a tree in the plaza. These are two pigeons. The pigeons are walking on the sidewalk. Some downtowns, like the one in New York, have a lane just for bicyclists. So this is called a bicycle lane. Right next to me is the sidewalk, and on the other side, this is the street. So the bicyclists can easily ride their bikes in this lane without trying to ride their bike on the street or in between people walking on the sidewalk. Let me know down below if you guys have a bike. After visiting a big city like New York, you realize how big the world really is and how important it is to speak different languages to communicate properly with others. And the best tool to learn a new language is from the sponsor of today's video. 
Preply. I've been studying Spanish with Preply and I felt so comfortable talking with native Spanish speakers. You can do the same thing and learn over 50 languages with Preply. You will have access to over 32,000 expert tutors to help you achieve fluency in a language. And the cool thing about this is you can choose a native teacher from any part of the world. For example, I can take a one-on-one -on -one class with a native Spanish teacher from Mexico, Peru, or Argentina, and I can learn the way that they speak and learn new vocabulary. If you want to learn English or a new language, take advantage and use my code ARIANITA50 for a 50% discount on your first trial. Thanks to Preply for sponsoring this part of my video. Now, let's get back to learning more downtown vocab. Moving on from talking about skyscrapers, plazas, this huge building right behind me is a shopping mall or it's called a mall. Usually a downtown area will have a mall, but some may not. Also, this is one of my favorite shopping malls in New York City because it's huge and below it is a subway station. Let's go find out and see what the shopping mall has to offer for the customers. Now you can see why it's one of my favorite malls in the city because this mall is huge and it's a very touristic part of the city. There are stores inside on the first level. Also below the shopping mall is the subway station. Now let's move to another part of downtown New York. But one of the fastest ways to get there is using the subway, which there's one behind me. We're going to use this crosswalk. I'm a pedestrian, so I'm going to walk across the crosswalk and enter the subway. Let's take the subway. I am walking down the stairs, and when you enter the subway, you first need a metro card. This is the card that will let you enter the subway. You can buy a card right here at this metro card vending machine, and this costs around $3. You can enter the subway by paying with Apple Pay, but I already have a metro card, so I'm just going to swipe through. Right now, I'm on the subway platform and I'm waiting for my train to arrive because I am going to take you guys to a special place. Now I'm going to enter the train. I'm exiting the train. I just made it to my stop. Now let's go upstairs and go to the street. I am finally on the street and the subway is definitely one of the fastest ways to move around New York City. Let me know if you guys have a subway in your city and let me know where you're from. Can you guys guess where the subway took me? Right now, I'm in the middle of Times Square. There are so many billboards and huge screens that are displaying ads of different companies and businesses. Almost every downtown has a coffee shop. Behind me is a Starbucks coffee shop. If you're a coffee lover, a coffee shop is something you cannot miss if you're downtown or in the city. Also, if you want to learn how to order coffee at a coffee shop, I just recorded a brand new video ordering coffee and teaching you guys English on how to order coffee at the coffee shop. I just got to the final part of this video. Right now, I am in Central Park. This park is in the middle of downtown New York City. Behind me, you can see the skyline of the beautiful skyscrapers. Also, I just got my hot dog, and this hot dog costs $4.50. Normally, where I'm from, Cincinnati, Ohio, these hot dogs would normally cost on the street around $2.50. This is the hot dog bun. I have the hot dog and ketchup and mustard. If you guys made it to the end of this video, thank you for following along. I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna finish eating my hot dog. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and give me a super thanks if you enjoy my videos. Bye!